All right, Coach Maxwell, we appreciate you joining us here uh, on the Listen Your Way Post Game Scoreboard Show. I'm glad to be here, Travis. Yes, sir, and uh, we appreciate you having us out here at the at the uh, Longhorn campus. Uh, I'm up in the press box uh, set up for our post game, and there's a lot of media here tonight, and you're you're still here on campus. So, uh, big win tonight for your program. Thank you, Travis. I mean, young men played hard, staff worked hard, and then uh, we kept momentum on our side, and we're able to keep things moving in the right direction. Yes, sir. Uh, earlier, I gave kind of a recap for our for our audience, but I would like to give you. Give you a chance just to kind of tell us about uh, started starting off uh, with that first touchdown, Daniel Myers. Just kind of tell us about uh, about Daniel and that uh, that that uh, first scoring play. Well, you know, uh, Daniel, uh, you know, he uh, I think he had about a like seventy five yard touchdown run on that first one, I believe. You probably have the stats, but uh, you know, he had a great night. He had like seventeen rushes tonight for about hundred thirty one yards, and it was nice to see him open up on that probably the second play of the game and go go all the way for the score and, uh, you know, showed his versatility and his speed and uh, did a great job for us. And 30, the 32-19, uh, to 19, the final uh, for Lambert. A lot of touchdowns. Uh, Brock Maxwell, let's talk about him. Three touchdowns tonight uh, just on quarterback keepers. Well, you know, uh, Brock does a great job of the option and, uh, you know, uh, and a lot of, you know, moving the ball. He like 18 carries for 90 yards tonight. And, uh, uh, you know, um, line did a good job walking for him. And then a lot of people got the ball to the goal line. And obviously the safe play sometimes is give it to our quarterback when he gets that close. So he got one in that way. The other two, he did a pretty good job scrambling on one pass. He made a nice run for score. And I want, like, and tell us about your kicker there. Uh, had a 28 yarder there to kind of put the exclamation on the victory tonight. Right. Coach Charles has been doing, you know, he's pretty solid, even though you know, he missed his first extra point. I told him that we must have made it too easy for him because the first one he made, we, I think we had the ball laying sideways on the, on the block. And, uh, you know, but he, he had a game winner against Roswell. He's just been really steady and, and pretty accurate and then just been doing a heck of a job for us. Next week, you have another uh, big rivalry matchup, another region game as the North Forsyth Raiders come to town. What can we expect when uh, the Longhorns play the Raiders for the first time ever? Well, you know, Coach Armstrong, he, just what a classy individual. And, and, and like I said, he's been known to build programs, and he's definitely got North heading in the right direction. So it's going to be another challenge for us to to uh, get our young men prepared and, and put them in the right position so they can have some success. All right, Coach Maxwell, we, again, we appreciate you joining us on the show and having us out here at the Longhorn campus, and we're looking forward to being back next Friday. We're glad to have you, Travis. Look forward to it. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. We'll talk to you next week. Joining us now here on the Listen Your Way postgame scoreboard, it is South Forsyth head coach Jeff Arnett. Coach, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Well, the War Eagles and the Longhorns, that was our game of the week. And uh, what a contest. It was uh, tonight, though, it was the, the Longhorns getting the edge. Yeah, it was a tough loss for us. Uh, it was a great atmosphere to play football. We just wound up on the wrong end of it. Uh, Lambert struck first, and then, uh, Coach, your uh, Brandon McKee with a, got you on the board, 43-yarder uh, to uh, cut the score at that time. Uh, seven to three. Just kind of tell us about Brandon McKee and and uh, and how he's doing for the War Eagles. Well, Brandon's been uh, you know just a, doing a great job for us kicking this year, and he was great once again tonight. Uh, you know, he's knocking probably eighty ninety percent of his kickoffs in the end zone. And, uh, he hadn't missed an extra point. And he's doing great on his field goals, as you saw tonight. He was a he was a bright spot for us tonight. Yes, sir. And then later on. Uh, big play. Uh, I'm just just checking my notes here. Um, let's see. H- had a couple of uh, field goals for you, and then I want to ask you about the big play. Uh, Jordan Jordan Arnett, of course, uh, has a big play that sets up the uh, quarterback keeper at the goal uh, at the time. Uh, put South within ten points, twenty three thirteen. Can you just uh, kind of talk about that that play, Coach? Well, it was a great play. It was a great ball by Jansen. It was a great catch by Jordan. Good run, and um, you know, it was. It, it was it, it drove us a little bit closer, but it seemed like tonight we were just just always playing catch up against them, and that's tough to do against a good team like that. 
and uh, you know we just we just weren't able to, to catch up with them. Yes, sir. Thirty-two nineteen, the final score tonight here at Lambert. Uh, looking ahead for South Forsyth next week, you've got Alpharetta coming to town, and uh, they lost earlier, uh, sixty-three forty-two to West Forsyth. So, uh, what can we expect next week with that matchup with uh, an always good Alpharetta team coming to South Forsyth? Well, they've got a lot of great players. Got a lot of kids already committed to D one schools on offense and defense. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do uh, to be able to to win that game. And you know, we'll we'll you know just like we always do, we'll come back to work on Monday, and work hard, and try to get better, and hopefully play a, a really good game next Friday night against Alpharetta. All right, Coach. Well, we are looking forward to it, and uh, I appreciate you joining us here on the show tonight. And uh, we'll catch up with you next Friday, Coach. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Listen Your Way Game of the Week. Tonight's action is brought to you by Andine Chevrolet and your Forsyth County Marathon stations. Good evening, everybody. We are coming to you live from Lambert High School. Joining this matchup already in progress, it is the first quarter with 828 remaining in the first quarter. The Lambert Longhorns leading South Forsyth. We are joining tonight's action in progress due to some technical difficulties. Now here to take you the rest of the way is Keith Shoemake and Chuck Shadburn. Hello everybody, welcome down to Lambert High School. As we're about eight minutes into the, uh, eight minutes to go first quarter. And your score is Lambert seven, South Forsyth is zero. And Chuck, you got the quick recap of what's going on so far here? Well, uh, South took the um, opening kickoff return. Second play of the game, they went deep, intercepted by Lambert at about midfield. Lambert took over at midfield. First play from scrimmage, they put the ball on the ground and fumbled. South gets it back at around midfield. From there, South had to punt, gave Lambert possession again, and the first play from scrimmage from Lambert went uh, for Daniel Myers, a long touchdown 64 run. 64 yards. 64 yards right up the middle, and that's how we got our 7 nothing score. Since then, South has managed to get a first down. So it's third and long here. South goes deep, and it's incomplete. Jansen Jeffrey, the senior quarterback for the War Eagles, on a third and nine play, goes deep and just over his intended receiver, so they will punt the ball away fourth and long. Like I said, South was able to get a first down there on that drive, but they're having to scratch for everything they're getting. What we're seeing is a very aggressive uh, Lambert defense, especially up front on the front line. South's having a hard time of finding any holes to run there in the middle. As South will get ready to punt it away, looks like, let's see, Nick Shepard, I believe, is the punter. Oh. Actually, Brandon McKee is the punter. It's taken by number 36. That is Brandon Miller. Makes a short gain up to about the 38, 39-yard line. The Longhorns will take over there first and 10. So both these teams coming in tonight at 3-0, and and this is the first region matchup of the season between these two. You'll have uh, three region matchups that are cross-county rivals as well this season. So it's going to be a, be some fun action in the in the region this year. Yeah, and the fact that both teams are coming in 3-0 and and that it's a region game just adds to the fact that that this, these two schools are, are already a big rivalry. Senior quarterback Brock Maxwell gives to Jake Vasquez. Picks up about six yards, maybe seven. See where they spot it. Looks like it's going to be about a seven yard gain. It'll be second down and three to go. Well, so far we're seeing that Lambert offense taking advantage of the South defensive line getting upfield. They're running up underneath it with counters and traps. Only the third play from scrimmage, but they're. Um, they're showing the ability to run up underneath those penetrating D linemen and get yardage. So Lambert again comes up second down and three, fakes the give, rolls out to the left, and he is going to be sacked in the backfield. That is number 90, Manny Godswill. Looks like number 34 also in there, uh, Everett Cleveland. So it's a big loss for the, the uh, Longhorns on that play. Yeah, just speaking of penetration by that D-line, they get through there that time to sack Maxwell back there, and uh, he was trying to roll out, but it took too, too long. So it's going to be third down and about, let's see, 13? Third and about 13 here. Third and 13. So they come out with two men wide out to the right, one to the left this time. 
Maxwell drops back looking. He's under pressure again. He's going to be sacked again. This time by number 44, Mickey Thomas. And driven back way deep. He lost about 15 yards yep. on that one. Had to roll him out first time to the left. Now this time to the offensive right. And Thomas straight up the field, keeping that outside contained, was able to sack him. Another big loss, and now it's fourth and forever for Lambert. And then nothing else. This is going to switch the field position for South. They should get it here offensively with uh, great field position. So third down at about 29 here. Uh, Eddie Miranowski back deep for the War Eagles. Maxwell doing the punting. Punt is away, and it's a good deep punt. Drives Miranowski back, and he's going to let it bounce, and it's going to be downed at about the 33-yard line, looks like. And the War Eagles will take over there at their own 33, first and 10, 5.33 to go first quarter. Here on the Listen Your Way Game of the Week. That was a good punt by Lambert. South not as good a field position as they had probably anticipated. Also, the ball hit the ground. The returner didn't catch it and allowed it to bounce and get a few more yards onto that punt. Well, he had to drop back about 10 yards to even try and judge that one. It was a pretty booming, booming kick. So Jansen Jeffrey, quarterback for the War Eagles, is under center. He fakes the give, keeps it himself, picks up about five yards, maybe six. That's number 10, Jansen Jeffrey on the carry. Number 23. Let's see where they the spot the ball. It's going to be spotted just inside the 40. We'll call it a seven yard gain. It'll be second down and three to go. South showing us a typical wing T formation on offense, but they are running the option out of it. Midline right there, keeper by Jansen Jeffrey, who's a very talented quarterback. Able to get good yardage there on first down. So South shifting a couple of people around here. Man goes in motion. He gives to the motion man. That is number nine, Sam Walker. Picks up the first down and more. He's going to be knocked out of bounds in Longhorn territory. Knocked out of bounds at the Longhorn 47-yard line. First down for the War Eagles. Well, they come back with a little speed sweep. They're able to get to the edge, get the outside. Good yardage again. And now this South for South offense has got something moving. And they're crossing midfield. Now you hear the South fans begin to chant. Good crowds on both sides here tonight. Oh, yeah, Just what you'd expect. Both sets of bleachers are packed. You got fans lined along the fence line on both sides. And, and we had a penalty at the end of the play here. We got a personal foul against the Longhorns. So another 15 yards tacked onto the end of the run. Well, I didn't see the flag come out, but I thought that may be a little bit late there on the sidelines. Looked like he hit him when he was already about three to four yards out of bounds. And that's a crucial mistake there early by Lambert. So it's down to the Longhorn 31, first and 10. Four Eagles split two men out to the right. Fakes to give up the middle, keeps it himself. He might have picked up a yard by, there by Jeffrey. So a short gain, be second down and nine. Jeffrey again faking to the fullback and looking for a place to keep the ball and tuck up and run, but there was nowhere to go there. Good job up front by that Lambert Longhorn defense. So the War Eagles come to the line again. Moving men around here. He's going to give this time to Isaiah Williams. Around the right side, short gain. Picks up about three yards or so. It's going to be second down at about, or actually third down at about six. Actually, it's going to be, he got a little more than I thought. He's going to, it's going to be third down at about three and a half, maybe four here. Well, just a little bit of the games here being played early. It looks like South's wanting to trade their tight end. Take him from the left side to the right side. Lambert's trying to switch. They must have a guy that they like to play to the strong side or to the tight end side. South trying to make it difficult for them to do that by trading that tight end. This time he traded over, got to about the center, and then motioned back and got back down. So a little bit of game of uh, cat and mouse here by the offense and defense. Third and three. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line. And for no gain. Jeffrey on the keeper is Jeffrey again. 
And he's going to be knocked, hit right at the line, so it's going to be fourth down and about three, three and a half yards. Well, they've had some success with that midline option, and they keep going back to it. And this is the second time in a row that they've ran it and uh, faked to the fullback, and Jeffrey just has nowhere to go with the football. So that will bring on the kicking unit here, Brandon McKee. Nick Shepard, the holder. It's going to be a 43-yard attempt. Snap. It's down. The kick is away. And the kick is good. So 43-yard field goal for Brandon McKee. War Eagles on the board with 234 to go first quarter. The score now Lambert 7, South Forsyth 3. I want to tell you, I'm, a, I'm impressed with another kicker here in our county. Yeah, last yeah game no we, kidding. Last game we did together was the Central North, and both of those guys could uh, could really put a boot into it. And now here we are in the South, 43-yard field goal, and he had more on that. So this is a big game for these two teams right off the bat. We'll be back here next week as uh, Lambert and North play. And let's see, uh, who does West have tonight? Do you remember? Alpharetta. Alpharetta They're over in Alpharetta. They're in Alpharetta, Alpharetta. Alpharetta, okay. And I believe uh, North is at home against Chattahoochee. That's correct. And I got a score on that early. It was 7 nothing Chattahoochee okay. early in the game. All right. Should be a good test for North. They've had a couple of good games so far this year, but Chattahoochee should be a better ball team than they've played so far. Yeah, and these county schools, non-region play is over. And uh, now it's time to get to the nitty-gritty, to the region part of the schedule. And not only are they region games, but they're county games, the rivalry games. And just got an update that Central is behind early 3 nothing to Sprayberry. Okay. We appreciate our, our outliers getting us the scores and keeping us up to speed. And that is kick is away by McKee, kicks it into the end zone for the touchback. McKee's kick sails into the end zone. It'll be brought out to the 20. It'll be first and 10 for the long one. So we got 2.34 to go first quarter. Nice night for us here. A little bit cooler. Starting to feel a little more like football weather now. Yeah, it is. And it's a good night for football here tonight. Lambert taking over at their 20. See what they can do here. First and 10 from the 20. Maxwell fakes the give. Keeps it himself around the right side. And he's got lots of grass in front of him. And he's going to break out of bounds at about the 41-yard line. I guess it's not really grass, no, is it? It's actually the uh, sprint turf, but lots, lots of green in front of him. Absolutely, and I'll tell you what, these are mirror images of each other. Lambert comes back, wing T formation, midline option, and Maxwell keeps it and gets the edge. you got two good quarterbacks, two good offenses, as a matter of fact, here tonight, and two good football teams. That's why they come in 3-0. and So first and 10 from the 41. This time he gives to, that is number 37, that is Jake Stanford. He's going to pick up about three yards. It's going to be second down at about seven. Nice little buck sweep play right there. On the stop for South Forsyth, number 79, Zach Martin. Going to bring up second and seven for the long So second down, seven to go. Two minutes to go first quarter. Maxwell again under center. Gives right up the middle. I believe Daniel Myers, Daniel Myers with the keeper. It's going to be just the short of the first down. He's going to be about a yard and a half. Looks like he's going to be about two yards short, so it's going to be third down and two here. The Myers, he shows some strength there, pushing the pile after contact. Showed a little speed there when he busted it out on the opening uh, touchdown run there for the Lambert offense. They've really got a weapon in number three right there at fullback. Third down, two to go. So Longhorns come up to the line. Everybody bunched right around the line. Maxwell puts the man in motion. Fake, let's see, actually gives two Myers right up the middle again. It's going to depend on the spot. He's very close to the first down. We'll see where they spot the ball. So he had to get to the, uh, the South for South 49. Looks <coughs> like he's going to be about a yard short. Just a little short. 
Looks like he got a little more than that. I think he got a little bit of a bad spot. Yeah, I think so. I thought too. he was still going to be about a half a yard shy. I agree. But, so it's going to be fourth down and a yard here. Longhorns line up to go for it. They do push forward. Looks like Maxwell has got enough for the first down by about a yard yeah, on a second effort. Absolutely, and even bounce it out. It wasn't much up front. I think he had it even up the middle, but then even bounced it out and tried to get more, always fighting for yardage. And now Lambert's across midfield, and they got some uh, momentum here going on offense. So first and 10 from the War Eagle 48. Maxwell, once again, under center. Man goes in motion. And got a flag on the play. So we'll see if South jumped or if they were drawn off. Lambert coming out in a double tight formation right there. Two tight ends in the game. Everybody jammed in tight there. About to see some power football. So it's an offside penalty against the War Eagles. So it'll be first and five for Longhorns. So the Longhorns get a free five yards. First down and five from the War Eagle, 43. It's 30 seconds to go first quarter. Maxwell fakes the give, looks to throw, and he's got a man open and just misses him. That was number 47, Chris Lay. Pass intended for number 47. It's a good idea, but just a little long on the throw. Yeah, well, like I said, they jammed everybody in there, make you think, power football and run, release the tight end down the middle of the field. He was there, just couldn't connect. South coach is thankful right there that, uh, that he couldn't connect because he definitely had him open. So Lambert actually comes back and huddles this time. Now they break out, come to the line. Second and five. Man in motion. Gives, let's see, fakes the give to Myers. He fakes the pitch. Maxwell on the keeper has the first down inside the 30, down to the War Eagle 28. A little triple option right there. Fake it to the fullback up the middle. Quarterback's keeping it. He had the option to pitch, even fake the pitch and cut it up in there. Maxwell, a great athlete there in space out there on the edge. And they're going quickly. They're all already at the line, ready to go. They will fake it and then step back and look for the play. Man goes in motion, gives to the motion man. That is Vasquez. Has the first down and more inside the 15 down to about the 14 yard line as that will end the first quarter. So a little more power football. A little more power football, getting that edge quickly, cutting it up and then running hard after contact. And Lambert does a good job of spreading the wealth around. They've given it to the fullback a little, the quarterback's kept it a little, and now they're gonna run it with the speed sweep. But great quarter, well played by both teams. So that brings us to the end of the first year score, Lambert 7, South Forsyth 3. Once again, we're here at Lambert High School on the Listen Your Way Game of the Week. Number 34, Everett Cleveland. So let's talk a little bit about this region. Obviously, Lambert's going to be one of your top teams. South's got a very good team. West is the number five team in the state right now. You also got North for South that's 3 0 so far. So Absolutely. Chattahoochee's got a good team. Chattahoochee's got a good team. And I'll tell you, another team I've been impressed with looking at scores, I haven't seen them play yet, is Johns Creek. Mm -hmm. They've put number on, uh, a number on a good, uh, good amount of teams this year. I know they beat Roswell pretty soundly. They beat a great Milton football team. So uh, it should be a nice battle here coming down through the season region wise to see who finds out who gets those top yeah. four spots. You gotta think whoever comes out of this region is gonna be very well tested and can do well in the state tournament against the Gwinnett County teams and some of those teams from South Georgia that are perennially good solid teams. Yeah and having being from this county and having four county schools in this region, like I said, it just adds excitement to all of these games which were exciting to begin with. And now to make them all region contests and everybody's battling playoffs are on the line at every one of these games. It just makes it that much more fun to watch as a fan. So we'll get ready to open up the second quarter here. Lambert driving. They're opening here first and 10 at the South 14. And it's a give to, I believe that was Vasquez. Actually, Myers on the carry. He, let's see, it looks like he just got back to the line. 
He got anything, it might have been a half a yard, but that's about it. Yeah, there wasn't much there. Lambert again staying in that double tight end formation. Double wing. Virtually no gain on the play, second and 10. So second down, 10 to go. That's pretty cool. Takes the give, Maxwell on the keeper, inside the 10, down to about the seven yard line. He's gonna be about mm, two, three yards shy, about three yards shy of the first down. So it's gonna be third down at about three to go. On the stop for the War Eagles, number 41, Brett Lundin. It just it makes it tough on a defense. You have to account for Myers there at fullback. You have to account for Maxwell, of course. And then he has that option to pitch it. You gotta account for that pitch, man. So puts the defense in a bind. So third and three, Lambert at the south for side seven, man in motion. That is a give to Myers right up the middle. Myers takes it up the well, looks middle, like he's going to have enough the for the first down line. by about a half a yard or so. He does have the first down. Larkin so first and goal for the, War Eagles. for the Longhorns from the Another south for side three yard line. Another. He runs hard, he runs low behind those pads. It's hard to stop him. Lambert's got a pretty big offensive line, too, to run They do, him. and they're just bunching them in there tight and pretty much just knocking them off the ball. Man goes in motion, gives to Myers again. He's going to be tripped up as he tried to get across the line. Tyler LaFlame on the, on the stop there. Nice tackle by the uh, South for South defender. Yeah, it was. That defensive line is still battling up in there against those big Lambert Longhorn O-linemen. They're battling, penetrating, grabbing what they can. They are on their heels right now a little bit. Myers did pick up about a yard, so it's second and goal from the two now. Maxwell with the fake, and he's going to be wide open around the left side for the touchdown. Two-yard touchdown for Brock Maxwell. Again, same thing. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, all the way down the field. Give you a little bit of mire up the middle. Hit the speed sweep a couple of times to threaten the edge, and you always got Maxwell who will pull that thing and keep it. And that time he was wide open, walking into the end zone. Kick is away, and the kick is good, so your score with 10.03 to go second quarter. Lambert 14, South for side three. On the Listen Your Way game of the week. South for side three. Just got a couple more score updates. Chattahoochee 10, North 0. Sprayberry 3, Central 3. All righty. I'm assuming both those probably early second quarter. Probably so. In the end of the first, first of the second, you would think. Well, South seemed to seize a little bit of the momentum there when they kicked a field goal. Were able to drive a little bit on offense, but then... Uh, that's what good teams do. They come back and answer and silence the south side of the field here with a nice plodding drive. Nothing fancy, just good smash mouth football. They opened up trying to throw it to the tight end down the middle, but then after that it was nothing but run and uh, we're able to move the ball down the field. As a defensive coordinator, if you're on south side, you gotta wonder what can we do to get that stop? Because they're able to run pretty much their basic plays and get yardage on us. As uh, Maxwell will do the kickoffs here. Kick is away, and it's going to be driven into the end zone for the touchback. Sails into the end zone. We've seen a lot of that year, this year in the games that we've done as well. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Thinking back, if we've seen a kickoff return yet, it, it's very. If it was, it was on like a squib kick or yeah, something like absolutely. that. That's about the only thing we've seen return. It's been few and far between. Which is a play I think football in general is kind of trying to get away from. Yeah. So first down, 10 to go for the War Eagles from the 20. Jeffrey fakes the give, looks to throw, looking. He's got a man out there and it's incomplete. And that's going to be a pass interference penalty. Well, I'm going to tell you, he was in great position right there, but I think the, the, the official's going to th drop the flag because he didn't know where the ball was. He never turned around. So he ended up being 
uh, like a face garden penalty was all up in the receiver because he had no idea where the ball was. Good coverage, good position, but you got to get your eyes around and make a play at the ball. And uh, number 11, Alex Winsky, was the intended receiver, and he did a good job of trying to come back to get the ball and at least draw on the penalty Absolutely. if he could catch it. Yep, nice play by him. So that's going to be... So wait here as they step off the penalty. Interference is the call. It's pass interference against the Longhorns. So that'll be a 15-yard penalty, first down. So it'll be at the 35-yard line. First and 10. And South gets ready to go here. As they're checking the sideline for the play. And a man split out wide on each side. A man goes in motion, snap gives to the motion man. That is number nine, Sam Walker, around the left side with a nice gain, and we got another flag on the play. That's number nine, Sam Walker, on the carry. Danny Edgeworth, number 23, makes it. As we'll play. wait the call on the penalty. In late. Nice run by Walker. Well. Got around the end. Absolutely. They were at south now able to get the edge, get something going here on offense. But it's a holding penalty against the War Eagles. And I was just about to say, a couple of early penalties, both have gone against Lambert. And now in an attempt to equal it up, south gets a holding call on a nice first down run. And they're going to have to bring it back. <laughs> so that was a spot foul. Uh, back it up 10 yards, so it's going to be first down and 12 here. And 10 yards is marked off from the spot. So first down and 12. It takes it back to the 33-yard line where it makes it first and 11. So 9.44 to go in the first half. Lambert still leads 14-3. <laughs> That's Jensen under center. Jensen Jeffrey. He's going to pitch to number one. That is Khalil Rice. And he's actually going to lose about a yard, maybe a yard and a half on the play. Yeah, a little option play there from South. But it was played nicely by that Lambert defense. You talk about assignment football. Well, everybody had their assignment there. And as soon as he tossed it, they had a guy there for the pitch. And uh, he was able to drag him down for a loss of yards. So now, after coming out and, and getting some positive yardage with the penalty and the speed sweep, the last two plays have gone nowhere but backwards. So it's going to be second down at about 14. Four Eagles have a couple of men out to the left, one to the right. Snap. Rolls to the right, looking to throw. He's going to come back to the left side. He's going to pass out to, pass complete. That is to Alex Winsky. For the first down into Longhorn territory. Well, two things right there. One, the ability of Jansen Jeffrey to keep the play going. Lambert blitzes and Jeffrey's able to escape the rush, get out by himself more time, and then the ability of the receiver to come back to that football and make the catch nicely done by that South for South offense. Brandon Miller, number 36. The South now in Lambert territory. They're at the Longhorn 46-yard line, first and 10, as they check the sideline for the play. Two men out wide to the left side. Man goes in motion, gives to the motion man. That is Rice again, who makes something out of nothing, actually picks up about a yard. I will tell you, he had to break two or three tackles just to get that yard. Running hard, but this Lambert defense was really flying to the football. Attention, Alex Nelson. Attention, Alex Thomas. Seven, 44 to go here in the first half. Alex Nelson. Second and nine. Alex Thomas. South again checking the sideline for their play. Got a wide out wide to each side. Snap, looking to throw. Pass complete. That is Winsky again. Picks up about five yards. It's going to be third down and about four. Well, you got to wonder if they think maybe with the penalty, the pass interference penalty, the long pass earlier, now the quick little out right there. If 
they think they might have found something with Winsky over there uh, split out wide. So third and four. And they check the sideline again. They're going to have to hurry or they're going to get a delay penalty here. Snap. Pass is complete to Winsky again. He has the first down. Knocked out of bounds at about the 31-yard line. First down, War Eagles. Well, and again, they find him. They're giving him a cushion. Looks like cover three with about an eight-yard cushion or more right there. And Winsky's able to take advantage of that. And Jeffrey, he took a shot right there by the Blitzen linebacker, but hung in there, delivered a good ball. First down again, War Eagles. Just a little pitch and catch, take what they give you and take the first down. Absolutely, make them do something different. Like you said, be patient. We'll see if they can keep this going. Problem with that is you gotta be consistent. The more plays you run, the more opportunity there is for mistake. So first and 10, gives to Rice, gets around the right side this time. Gains about five yards, knocked out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. I think that's about the third time we've seen Rice here on this drive. Trying to get the edge, had some success right there. Good yards on first down. Running into the boundary again. Second four for the War Eagles. So the ball's right about the Longhorn 26. It's gonna be second down at about five here. Two men out wide to the right. Man comes in motion, gives to the motion man. That is Walker, and he's going to be tackled for a loss. And that's that's the way you teach it to be strung out right there. They just keep Lambert guys keep showing up there on the edge, refuse to let him get the edge, the corner, and turn it upfield. I believe that was the little brother Tucker Maxwell there on the on the tackle number 11. Phenomenal play. Loss of two. It's going to bring up third and seven for South. So third down and about seven here. As the War Eagles check the sideline. Looks to throw. Pass is complete to Witzke again. And he's gonna be hit and knocked back, but looks like he's gonna be, have the first down by about a half a yard. Hey, so he found the sticks. I was just about to say, another nice job. I'm getting, I'm, I'm impressed with this young man. He finds the first down marker, gets the yardage he needs. Lambert was able to drive him back after the catch, but it didn't matter because he ran a good route. And again, like you said earlier, good job of a little pitch and catch right there. So first down and 10 for the War Eagles. They're at the Longhorn 21 yard line. 6.04 to go here in the first half. Jeffrey gives to Rice again around the right side, picks up maybe a yard, and he then he's tackled immediately. Number 30. Quick score update for you. Forsyth Central 10, Sprayberry 10, and North Forsyth 7, Chattahoochee 10. So a couple of close ball games. Yeah, we've got good ball games going on tonight. South can finish off this drive. We'll have a good one going here. You know they want to put some points on the board because Lambert's going to get the ball to start the second half. That's right. So Jeffrey drops back looking to throw. He fakes the throw and then he's going to pass and it's going to be incomplete as he was under heavy duress. They keep blitzing number four there and he's come clean a few times. He got a really good lick on Jeffrey a couple of times during that this drive right here. That's Russell Monnet, number four. Well, he's doing a good job of pressuring Jeffrey. Now, I, what I was impressed with was Jeffrey was able to keep his feet long enough to throw that ball and put enough on it to get it in the area of a receiver. Save that be, lost yardage. All right. So it's third down and about nine here. It's a long nine. As you know, the War Eagles would take the field goal chance, but you know they'd like to get in the end zone and get this thing back a little closer. We're looking to throw. Passes through the hands of number five. That is Nick Cochran. Through his hand, so it's going to be fourth down and nine and a kicking situation. Yeah, uh, Cochran had a chance to catch that ball. I'm not certain, though, that he would have had enough for the first down yardage. No, I don't think he would have. He'd probably been about three yards shy. So you're looking at a field goal opportunity probably either way. So Brandon McKee on a 37-yard attempt. Number 
and the kick is away and the kick is good so with 510 to go in the second quarter your score now Lambert Longhorns 14 South Forsyth War Eagles 6 again 510 to go first half you're listening to the listen your way game of the week I want to thank our sponsors right quick and Dean Chevrolet and your Forsyth County Marathon stations well nice response there by South you don't want to of course trade uh, touchdowns for field goals but they did get something on the board they did eat some clock to rest their defense a little bit give them time to work on some things over there on the sideline with the defensive coordinator and uh, I think found some things on offense that they might can come back to later on here in the game you also gave your defense a rest because they were on the field a long time that last drive that uh, Lambert had as well. That's right. That's right. Give them a chance to rest. They should come out fresh and get a stop right here. And really, you're just a score away. Yep. Scored a two-point conversion from tying this game up. Good hard-fought game. Nice players on the field. Both quarterbacks have made exceptional plays already. Both defenses playing hard. And just what you'd expect from two 3-0 teams, like I said earlier, coming into this game. So McKee will kick it away for South. And I'm trying to read the numbers of the deep men, but I cannot at the moment. As we continue to wait here, as they will turn them loose here. And the kick is away, and it's another booming deep kick, and it's into the back of the end zone for the touchback. Seems to be a recurring theme. Absolutely. Don't have to work that at all during the week. So 5-10 to go here in the first half. And Lambert will get another crack at it. Well, like I said, gave props to the South offense last drive, and it was a good drive by them, but a good job by that Lambert defense. Again, as long as you keep everything in front of you and you keep making tackles and keep making them run plays, eventually you hope they mess up, and uh, South eventually kind of stalled out and had to kick a field goal. There's a give to number 43. That is James Little. It's a nice game. He's up to about the 29-yard line, so it's going to be about a yard to go. Number 28, Matt Sierra on the stop. Quick score update, 17-7, Chattahoochee over North Versailles. So Maxwell gives around the end to Vasquez, picks up the first down. On the stop, number eight, Eddie Mirowski. So far this drive, more of the same of what they got from last drive. Just lining up, pretty much running it right at you, throwing in a little option to make you be uh, responsible and play assignment football, but really smash mouth right here. Like you said, big guys up front and they're, they're using them. So 4.18 to go here in the first half. Give is to Myers right up the middle. About a four, maybe a five yard gain. Number three, Daniel Myers. So another, another nice gain on first down. Yeah, and I have a feeling, like we said a couple of weeks ago with the big kid from north, the Jamal Davenport kid, that as this game goes on, Myers is gonna be harder and harder to tackle. Those big guys up front. Wedging together and giving him the ball up the middle is going to be tougher and tougher to stop. Second down and a long four here. Maxwell with a quick give. I believe, was that Myers again? Myers again. I believe it was. Yep. Battling picks up the first down up to about the 45. 
More hard running. More hard running, widened it out a little bit, still inside the tackles. Not right up through the middle though, up behind the center. But same result, like you said, just hard running, falling forward. First and 10, quick step, gives to Myers again. He's gonna hit, hit quickly this time, picks up about a yard and a half. So it's gonna be second and long, about eight and a half here. But the South defense beginning to adjust. As you've seen there, one guy grabbed him up high, but the guy who was able to bring him down came in and hit him low, taking those big legs out from under him. They're gonna have to tackle this guy low and gang tackle him. Three minutes to go in the first half. Maxwell giving the play to his teammates. Man goes in motion, snap. Fakes the give this time, picks up about a yard himself, does Maxwell. Another short gain, so it's gonna be third and long, third and about eight yards here. They're now about seven, actually. More of the option right there. This time he keeps it and nowhere to go. Penetration by the South defense gets to him and able to bring him down. So a little bit of a drive here by Lambert, but if South can hold right here, they can at least stop them and get their offense the ball back, albeit in poor field position. But again, you got a couple of minutes in all three timeouts, so you never know. And we're able to put it in the air with some success last yeah. drive. So shotgun this time for Maxwell. So looking to throw, but he's gonna keep it himself. Makes one man miss. He's got the first down into War Eagle territory. He's going to be knocked out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. And we're going to have a holding on number nine there on the edge as well. Right in front of the official, and he, th he dropped the flag. As we await the penalty here. So it's going to be a hold against the Longhorns. And as it is a spot foul, they will still actually gain yardage on the play. Well, he's working ha hard out there, but it's out in space. I'm not so sure the block was that needful at the time. Maxwell was already by the play pretty much. And already had the first down. Absolutely. And, and that's just another element of his game. And I know Jeffrey has the same element in his game that when you put, ru when you pr put pressure on him with your front guys, they better stay in their rush lanes and contain him. Or he becomes another running back out of the backfield, and he'll make you pay just like he did there. So it's a... Marked off from the spot of the foul, so it's going to be marked right at the 50-yard line. It's going to be third down and four. Lambert takes their first timeout. 2.04 to go in the first half. They'll have two timeouts remaining here. And we'll have this uh, third and four play to go. Well, like I said, it makes, you makes it tough because you want those guys to be aggressive and pin their ears back, so to speak, and get after him. Uh, because if you don't do that, you're not going to get there. But at the same time, you've got to be smart and stay in your rush lane because if not, that's the result you get. He's able to use his legs to find the opening, and uh, if you don't contain him, and pick up big yardage. Like I said, they ran the shotgun on that last play, and it was pretty much it was a designed quarterback run there because he, he dropped back, he looked for about a half a second, then he took off. Absolutely. Draw him upfield and then take off. As a defensive lineman, you're supposed to realize this is too easy. Retrace your steps and try to beat him back to the spot at the front line there and make the play. Fortunately though for the South defense there was a hold out there on the edge. So both teams coming back out here. So third down and four to go for the Longhorns right at the 50 yard line with 2.04 to go first half. Snap give is to Myers again and he gets nothing. Myers on the carry is stopped right in the line of scrimmage. Well, that time they stand him up next to Maxwell back in the shotgun and give him the ball going up the middle. Seemed to be working fairly well with him out of his three-point stance at fullback, but great job by that South for South War Eagle defense of staying square up front and building the wall, making the play. So Maxwell will kick it away. I think that is number eight Marinowski back again for the War Eagles, I believe. Kick is away. Another deep kick. He's going to let it bounce. And Lambert is going to down it at the one yard line. 
That was an exceptional play right there by that young man. It's a good high punt. You're not supposed you're taught as the receiver, as the return man, not to back up and catch it inside or field it inside the 10 because you're thinking that's going to hit and bounce in. But incredible play by the Lambert Longhorn there, uh, cover team. He slaps it back out and they uh, down it there inside the five. So you got to be careful here now. You do have time left, but you don't want to put the ball in the air here. I wouldn't think in this position. I'd almost be tempted, even though you don't get the ball back, to uh, to just run it up the middle or even take a knee and see if we can't get out of here. So South at first and ten from their own one. As Jeffrey is under center. And that was a quick give. I could not see the number though. I believe that was number 32, Isaiah Williams. Right up the middle there. To the, right up the middle there to the fullback. Clock is running. There was nothing there. I think Lambert with two timeouts left. You may see them after this play take those timeouts and force a punt here out of the back of their own end zone. Try and get a punt return and see what you can see what you can do. Yeah, absolutely, or go for the block right here. The South's trying to take as much time as possible here. They've been led, running a lot of clock. Yeah, absolutely. So he's going to look to throw this time to Jeffrey, and it is going to be incomplete. Pass intended for number nine, Sam Walker. Jordan Jean Felix on the cover. Quite a gamble right there by yeah. the South for South offense. Not only are you putting the ball in the air, you're risking a holding call in your own end zone, and now you've stopped the clock. And uh, Lambert don't even have to use the timeout. For the War Eagles. Plus, it was a little bit underthrown as well. It was almost got a hand on by the, uh, the Longhorn defender. Very dangerous. So third down, 10 to go. Jeffrey again under center. Gives to Williams this time. He breaks one tackle and he's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Edgeworth with the tackle. The and it looks like right Lambert will call timeout with 11 seconds to go in the first half. Timeout. To stop Lambert. the clock and force the punt. That was a nice play right there by this uh, South Forsyth uh, offense to get her, get themselves some room. He didn't get the first down, which would have been ideal, but at least he's given himself close to 10 yards. More room for this punt here that's coming. Yeah, because he would not have had much room to work with there because he would have been just inside the back line of the end zone. Not at all. And a high snap or anything like that, it's a safety and you're out of luck. And you're going to give them the ball and then turn around and give it right back right. to them. So the Longhorns will be looking to accept the uh, punt here. Trying to get a good return and maybe even a field goal try here at the end of the half, if nothing else. Yeah, no doubt about it. And they, those, and they still got one timeout to work yeah, with if they need say. it. And I think, you know, they, they would not have that timeout had South not thrown it down right. the field. And But, you know, at the same time, if he hits that receiver running down the field and they score, we're praising them for an incredible play call True. and having the guts. So. Brandon McKee to punt for the War Eagle. Three guys deep for Lambert to receive this punt. And we got a offside penalty against the Longhorns. Well, it looks like they're definitely going to try to set up some kind of return. Didn't look like they had a rush on at all. And just gave them the first down. So you got to figure South will go ahead and kneel it here and be done. Let's get out of here. Regroup, not a bad first half. We're, we're right, we're in good spot. Wish yeah. we were getting the ball to come out, but Hey, get a defensive stop coming out of the half, and we got a shot. So now the offense back on the field. For the first and ten play, you got to figure they're probably going to kneel it down here. Unless they want to just try and get a quick hitter on a handoff just to see if he can break it. Which it looks like what they're probably going to do here because they're not set up in a victory formation. 
snap and he is actually going to kneel it. Does Jeffrey. Jason Jeffrey takes the knee and that brings the first half to a close. And that's going to end the first half here. So your score from Lambert High School is Lambert 14, South Forsyth 6. Here on the Listen Your Way Game of the Week. I want to thank our sponsors, Andine Chevrolet and your Forsyth County Marathon stations. So we're going to break away for halftime. We'll leave the mics open so you can listen to the bands here at the half. And we'll be back for second half action in about 20 minutes. Best middle school. All right, well, welcome back, everyone. We've got less than a minute to go here till we get ready to kick off the second half here on the Listen Your Way Game of the Week at Lambert High School. Lambert versus South Forsyth. Longhorns leading 14 to 6. Give you a quick scoring recap if I can get my paper turned here. Game opened with a 64 yard touchdown run by Daniel Myers, was the first scoring in the first quarter. Uh, Brandon McKee then came back with a 43 yard field goal for the War Eagles. Uh, in the second quarter, uh, Brock Maxwell scored on a two yard touchdown run run on a long drive by the Longhorns and then McKee had another 37 yard field goal for the War Eagles and that will recap your scoring for the first half. 14-6 Longhorns as we get ready to open up second half action. So Chuck what have the War Eagles got to do to get back into the ball game here? Well you know they had some things working there uh, offensively at times through the air um, in the first half so go back to those things keep mixing in don't abandon your game plan you got to keep working Working at Lambert, I think, with the run, keep them honest, and, and basically get the get the ball in that quarterback's hands, in Jansen Jeffries' hands. He's obviously your playmaker, and as much as you can get him to do for you, uh, the better off you're going to be. But Keith, immediately, what they need to do is uh, get a three and out right here and get their offense back the ball. And if I just heard that score right, I think they said West 31, Alpharetta 21. So they're in a shootout. Yes, they are. And a matter of fact, I got an updated one score of that is 38-28 right before half. So that one may come down to the to the nitty gritty at the end of the ball game. Forth. I also heard Chattahoochee returned to punt right before half, and they're now up 24-14 on North Forsyth. And I think Central still leads Sprayberry at the moment 13 to 10 at the half. So that should uh, get county action up to date to the minute as the War Eagles get ready to kick it away here to open the second half. The key will be doing the kicking. And if you're the Longhorns, I think more of the same. You're probably going to see more double tight and uh, more little option. A little bit of Maxwell mixed in right there. And Brandon uh, McKee to kick off for The kick is away, and it is going to be into the end zone for the touchback. He's kick makes it just inside the end zone. Lambert will so Lambert will take over first and ten from their own twenty to open up the second half. So you got to figure it's going to be more of the same from the Longhorns. Here. I would think so. Meyer up the middle, running hard between the tackles. He did get busted one. He's got the speed to take it to the house. Maxwell pulling it every once in a while. Speed sweep. It's all worked fairly well. So Maxwell man goes in motion. That is a give to the motion man. That is number 43. James Little around the right side for a good gain. He gains about seven, seven and a half yards. It's going to be second down at about three. Five man front that time by South, and maybe their answer, their adjustment after halftime to this double tight end, double wing set. Lambert able to get to the edge, though, and get good yards. So they change the play here. Maxwell under center, man goes in motion, fakes to give up the middle, Maxwell on the keeper, makes a couple of men miss, has a first down and more, he makes another man, breaks the tackle, steps out of bounds in South for South territory, out of bounds at about the 42 yard line, first and 10 for the Longhorns. Faked it to Myers up the middle and then kept it, kept it excuse me, got the edge quickly and then once he gets out in open space, he is such an athlete, he's hard to tackle. You saw him make a couple of guys there look pretty silly. A couple of misses and then broke another tackle that had about midfield there and picked up another five or six yards. So first and 10 from the War Eagle 42 yard line. So 
Something a little different, spreading the man out wide this time. So they come to the line now, setting ready to go, man in motion. Gives to Little around the right side this time. He has lots of running room, first down and more. Breaks a couple of tackles, he's down inside the 15 yard line. Nice run by Little. So this time, instead of bunching them all in together, they take one guy, spread him out wide to pull a guy a little bit away from, from the tackle box there, and then they hit it right outside off tackle with the speed sweep. Great gain around the end for a big first down, and this is not the way you want to start the second half if you're south for size. First and 10 Longhorns gives to Little again. He gets around the right side again. He's driving, has the first down inside the five, down to about the two yard line. Little taking it around the right side, down. First and goal for the Longhorns. And I tell you, these strong running backs from the Lambert Longhorns, plus the fact that they do a good job of giving the ball to different people, they're finishing runs, and, and, and it's, uh, it's outstanding the way they do that and gain yardage after contact. So first and goal from the two. And I believe that's Maxwell going forward, and we're waiting for a signal. Touchdown, Longhorns. Huge push up front. That, that's pretty uh, good distance for a quarterback sneak, but it was a no-doubter. They got a great push up front. Maxwell was surging in, and touchdown right out of the half for these Lambert Longhorns. As we'll await while they set up the PAT. And looks like they're going to go for two here, Chuck. They're going to attempt a two-point conversion. Well, they're up 14. Time Not real sure. The and they call time. What the sheet, as they would say, would uh, says in this situation, if you're supposed to go for two, I'm not sure why you would. But nevertheless. I mean, if you go... You just kick here, you're up 15, so you're up a touchdown, you, you and force, then they have to have a, a two-point conversion anyway. Yeah, you force them to go for two a little later right. on down the road, but uh, miss this, and they can couple scores, extra points in the yep. tie ball game. But I'll tell you that whatever whatever they've got in mind, I'm sure it's the right call because this uh, Lambert Longhorn staff has done a great job ever since Coach Maxwell came and opened this school up and and started the program. They've been a force. Um, and so I'm sure he's got the right call in mind for his team and his program. So we'll see what they do here after they call timeout. Their first of the, the second half. Looks like they are going to go for two. So Maxwell under center looks to throw, and through the hands of number nine. That is Chandler Register. Incomplete, and the conversion fails. So with 10.50 to go here in the third quarter, you're scoring out Lambert 20, South for side 6 on the Listen Your Way Game of the Week. I want to thank our sponsors right quick, and Dean Chevrolet, and your Forsyth County Marathon Stations. Well, a small victory right there, stopping that two-point conversion. Does keep them within range of two scores, two extra points, tying this thing up. And uh, But other than that, not a lot of positives on that drive if you're a South or South War Eagle fan. Pretty much pounded by the Lambert offense. A demoralizing drive to take control. Score update. West for South 41, Alpharetta 28 at the half. Right, West for South offense sure is putting up points. Right. That's a lot of points in a one half of football. Absolutely, and I think last week they had 49 at the half, if I'm not mistaken. So Maxwell will kick it away. Kick is off. And it is going to be into the end zone for the touchback. Maxwell's kick sails into the end zone. It'll be first and ten. So South will take over at their own 20, first and ten. 
here in the third quarter. Lambert leading 20 to 6 on the Listen Your Way game of the week. Well, here's where you really need a drive out of this south offense. Not only to rest your defense a little and give them a chance to talk a little bit, maybe coming out of the half, but I don't know that you want to give the Lambert offense the ball back the way they're running right now and clicking yeah. on all cylinders. So Jeffrey so comes Jeffrey under the line, under center. Fakes the give, and he's going to get a short gain. I mean, it looks like he fumbled, and they're Lambert saying, recovers. And they did. That's exactly what they didn't want to do. You well, just got it out of your mouth. I was about to say, you, you, you don't want to give it right back to them, and that's exactly what they did. And uh, I know that's stating the obvious, but coming out and putting the ball on the ground is exactly what you did not want. And So now you've got Big Mo on the side of Lambert for sure, and they're trotting out those big guys up front again. I would expect them to go back to double tight and, and give them a dose of the same thing they've been giving them since we started here. I said they've only thrown, what, two or three passes the entire game. Everything else has been running the ball, so you're figuring it's going to be more of the same. Get in the end zone and chew the clock. Yeah, and you got those. You know, they rolled out earlier earlier in the game. They tried twice to roll out and, and throw the ball and got sacked a couple of times. And they since also had then, the early interception as well. Early interception. Since then, they've said, hey, why do this when you can just line up, play some smash mouth football, and South's having trouble stopping it. Yep. So we'll turn them loose here and we'll get ready to go. So Maxwell comes out in a shotgun this time. Snap. Gives to Little. Gets around the right side. Picks up about five, six yards. Maybe seven. It's going to be closer to seven. It's going to be third or second down and about three to go. Well, they featured Little in the latter, latter part of that last drive, and uh, he ended up running down there and putting it within range for a Brock Maxwell um, uh, quarterback sneak for the touchdown, and now they've started out the same way. So it's second down a long three here. Man goes in motion, snap, gives to the motion man, and he's hit immediately. That's Reed Gill, number one, taken down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of Reed about Gill three yards. That's, so that's jet sweep, flat motion right behind the quarterback, and one way to stop that is to penetrate with the defensive lineman. He's able to take the legs out of Gill coming across on the sweep. So for the first time in, in quite a few plays, the Lambert offense loses a few yards. Right. So it's going to be third and nine here. Third and nine, right at the south for side 20. Snap, looking to throw. He's under pressure, makes a man miss, breaks a tackle, and he's going to get taken down for the sack by the back of his jersey. He's tackled as he scrambles away from the initial pressure. He's going to lose about a yard. Going to bring up fourth down. <laughs> Fourth down and ten. We talked about rush lanes earlier. Well, they were in the rush lanes that time, and not only that, but they were upfield in a hurry. They were on Maxwell. Just about as soon as he received that shotgun snap, didn't have a chance to make a play at all. And a, a nice response by this South for South, South for South defense after the offense put them in a bad situation. Kick is away on the field goal attempt, and it is good. By number 91, Ryan Cardula. And that was about a 36-yard field goal. So it's 23-6 to now, Lambert. 8.42 to go third quarter. Here on the Listen Your Way game of the week. So a good job by the South defense getting a hold there. Yeah, absolutely. They got to go off the field for all of uh, a play there. Yeah. Or actually two if you count that kickoff return or the kick into the end zone. And... Uh, Come right back on the field in a nice series right there by the defense. 2012 12th men partners in excellence include the outdoor lights, Mark Angel Electric. We'll get ready for the kickoff here. Maxwell will be doing the kicking. Three men deep for the War Eagles, led by Sam Walker, number nine.
kick is away. Into the end zone for the touchback. Kick sails about six yards deep in the end zone. Once again, it'll be first and ten for the War Eagles from the 20 yard line. So South will take over first and ten from their own 20. Jeffrey under center. Snap looks to throw. Pass intended for number nine, Sam Walker, incomplete. Brandon Miller with the second and ten. And again, we'll say it again before this drive, it would be nice if they could, if nothing else, ideally put some points on the board, but if nothing else, drive, switch the field position, eat some of this clock, keep your defense off the field. They've played a lot already in this second half. Opening with an incomplete pass though, stopping the clock. So second down, 10 to go. Jeffrey again under center. Pitches to the motion man, that is number 25. Vitalis knocked out of bounds after about a seven yard game. Number 20, Drew Vitalis. Well, it didn't look like he was gonna be able to get the edge there, but he was able to turn it up, break an arm tackle, and get good yardage there on, on second down. So now it's gonna bring up a third and pretty manageable. Third and three. Actually about third and, Bring up third and three. Sort of a long two, short three here. This will be critical for this south offense. All right. Move the chains right here. Two men out wide to the right. Man goes in motion. Same man there, number 25, Wittalis. Picks up the first down for the War Eagles. Yeah, another speed sweep. He put a foot in the ground and cut it up a little bit early so that because he saw what he needed to get to get the first down and Nice job, move the sticks, and uh, good job by the South for South War Eagle offense. And if only Johnny Talent got text messages where we could text him a picture of the about 60 Lambert cheerleaders that we have over here on the sideline. I'm telling Johnny, you. Johnny, Johnny loves the cheerleaders. <laughs> no comment. Well, the first time we played down here, he talked about they had about 80 of them out here. So. They've got as many cheerleaders as football players. Jeffrey fakes the throw, looking to go long, and it's almost picked off. Back there by number 23 for the Longhorns, Danny Edgeworth. Pass, Pass was Walker. intended for Walker again coverage. into double coverage. Yeah, the corner was running right with him. There was really nowhere for the ball to go there, and you had safety help coming, and he almost picked the ball off. The safety coming late did, so really a risky pass there by Jeffrey. So it's going to be second and 10, south from their own 33. And once again, I'll remind you that we'll be back here next week for the Lambert and North Forsyth game. That'll be our game of the week next week. Give up the middle, let's see. Fumble on the play. I think Ball South fumble. may have gotten it back. I don't know. Lambert's pointing their way. Looked like cool. Jeffrey tried to keep it there and it got ripped out of his arms. Well, I'll wait as they unpile them here. It's going to be third down. Signaling third down. South recovered. Looked like a white shirt fell on top of it. They're fortunate to get that back. Like I said, Looked like the option play, Jeffrey decided to keep it, but then as soon as he did, the ball was raked away. They avoided a disaster right there. But it does set them up in third and a little bit long right here, third and eight. So we got about seven and a half minutes to go in the third. Third down and eight for the War Eagles. Jeffrey rolls a little bit to his right, looking to throw, pass is tipped. In and out of the hands of number 23, Danny Edgeworth. Yeah, that ball was tipped, and that's the same safety that almost picked off a pass a couple of plays ago. This one hit right out of uh, right out of his hands. He'll be hating himself tomorrow for missing that ball. And he had some green in front of him if he was able to catch that. Right. So it's going to bring up fourth down and eight for the War Eagles in a punting situation. That is McKee doing the punting, and the Longhorns have no one deep. McKee kicks it and drives it deep, and that ball is going to take a south bounce. 
Roll down inside the five, and it's going to be downed at about the four-yard line. Nice punt by McKee. Yeah, nice punt. Nice roll. Pinned them deep inside the five. So, if nothing else, they did flip the field on them, and they're going to force this Longhorn offense to drive the length of the field, which is something they really haven't struggled to do in this ball game. No, they haven't. Punt rolls dead. Down so, Lambert will take over first and ten from their own four. But you're only down 17. There's still time in this game. You get a stop here on, or get a three and out right here, and get you, you'd think you'd get your offense some good field position, a score, and you're right back in this thing. Maxwell fakes the give, keeps it himself, picks up about Maxwell four or five yards. Takes it out to about the nine yard line. South very aggressive on defense, blitzing a couple of linebackers right there. And they catch Maxwell in that swarm of defenders. He's still able to to get four or five yards though, just on, on sheer athletic ability. He's a heck of a player. It's gonna be second down, five to go. Man comes in motion. He's gonna to give to Myers this time. Got stuck up a little bit and then squirted free. Picks up another yard or two. He's going to look like he's going to be about a yard short of the first down. I'll tell you, every yard counts. And like I said, these Longhorn running backs, even the quarterback, Maxwell, they're always surging ahead, reaching forward, trying to get that extra yard. Now it sets them up in the third and about a yard. Third and one. Just over six minutes to go in the third. Man goes in motion, gives to the motion man. That's a little. And he's going to be stacked up, and I don't know if he got it. Yeah, Little had some success getting the edge earlier in the game, but right there he was stoned trying to get across that edge. And I don't think he made nope, it. He did not. It's going to be fourth down, and that's going to bring on the punting unit. Hey, nice defense right there by the War Eagles, and they get a chance to get the ball back again like we talked about in good field position right here. Got an injured player down for the Longhorns. So we will await medical attention. There's an so we have 5.41 to go in the third quarter. So a good job by the uh, South defense as they stand up, get a three and out. Absolutely. The way long, the Longhorns have been moving the pile and running the ball, I would have thought on third and one, it was pretty much a done deal. And uh, thankfully for South, their defense did not feel that way and they rose the occasion. Stretched it out, didn't allow Little to get the edge, and came up and made a heck of a hit there on the edge. And now they're going to get the ball back, like we said, in good field position. Plenty of time left here in the third quarter to get, to get a score and get right back in this thing. And as we're still waiting on the injured player over on the far side of the field. We were talking earlier about Johnny's uh, favorite cheerleading squad here at Lambert. Remember the first game that we played down here and they had about 80 cheerleaders and that's all he talked about for about two quarters was the number of cheerleaders. So we, said we needed to have him a phone with text messaging capability where we could send him a picture. Big hands a lot. Yeah. 43, James so that was Little actually that was injured on the play. Uh, he took a pop I think when he tried to turn up. I'm not sure. It looks like maybe limping a little bit. Somebody might have got him low, or he might have turned an ankle or a knee, but I hope it's nothing serious. So he's being helped off the field by the, by the trainers. So that'll bring the punting unit out. Maxwell punting from his own end zone. And that is Sam Walker back for the War Eagles. Kick is up. It's a little bit of a shorter kick this time. Fair catch is muffed and looks like he fell on top of it. Walker on the fair catch. I think he was able to get back on top. He, he was. 
Actually, that is not uh, with Walker. That is uh, Eddie Miranowski. Outside the 46 yards. They will take over first and 10 from the Longhorn 47 yard line. So a little bit of a shorter kick this time for Maxwell. Not quite as good as he's done short so high far. Kick. Short high kick and uh, just avoid a disaster again right there. But now offense. Good field position. Yeah. Offense is great field position. Just what South wants right here. But you're getting that feeling they need to put points on the board here to try and get back in this ball game. If not, it may get out of hand for them. So as we await a new ball to come into the game here. So 528 to go in the third. South first and 10 from the Longhorn 47. Jeffrey under center. Snap. Throws out into the flat on the left side. Pass is complete. Knocked out of bounds for right at the first down mark. That is Sam Walker, number nine. Looks like he may be, let's see. Looks like where they've got the ball marked, he's going to have just enough for the first down. Nice little swing pass out there. Yeah, a little bunch trips formation out there to the left and swung, uh, swung the ball out there to the guy in the back and good yardage right there. Able to looks like get the first down. They're looking at it now, I guess. But some momentum here. Still, like I said earlier, with 519 remaining in the third, it's only 23 to 6. Lambert, as much as they've kind of dominated the line of scrimmage, or it feels like they've had, South is still hanging around here. So they're going to take a measurement. Looks like they're going to be a couple of lengths of the chain short. Measurement shows that the ball is so it'll be down second down and inches. First down. Looks like no more than an inch or two. It's going to bring up second down and short. second and inches. Still trying to find some more scores over there. Trying to get some score updates from the county games. Nothing new so far. Got to figure everybody's just coming out of halftime, you would think. Early third quarter. So second down and inches for the War Eagles. Let's see if they take a shot downfield right here or just get enough for the first down and move the chains. Snap, looking to throw. Pass complete. That is number 24, Jordan Arnett, with the first down catch down inside the Longhorn 25, down to about the 23, first and 10 War Eagles. Well, like I said, Lambert's corner's giving a pretty, pretty good cushion out there wide, so Jeffrey takes advantage of it, just takes the snap, pops up and throws it out there, gets enough for the first down. Nice throw and catch. And South for South on the move. First and 10 from the Lambert 23. Five minutes to go, third quarter. Four Eagles come out with one man to the right, three men bunched over on the left side. Snap, looks to throw, comes back to this side. That ball was deflected, looked like. Looked like number four, Russell Moignette, got a hand on it. He's the man that's been rushing the quarterback several times. Yeah, they've been blitzing him off and on all night, and he's usually doing a good job creating havoc when he's coming. Again, they bunch trips out to the left, throwing back to that single receiver side. It's the same one they threw to for that first down on the second and short while ago. Maybe they found something that they like over there on that side. Throwing into the boundary again like they did earlier in the first half into that short side of the field. So second down and 10, snap, he's going to roll a little bit to his left, looking to throw, pass complete. That is number 24 again, that's Arnett, yeah, going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Nice job of Arnett of coming back to the ball, finding the open spot in the zone, coming back and sitting down and Jeffrey finds him. Just short of the first down. It's gonna bring so it's going to be third and about a yard, actually it's probably less than a yard here. As Jeffrey is going to be under center. He's going to push forward, have the first down and more. He's going to drive it down to about the 11-yard line. 
first down War Eagles. Nice yeah, push up front by the South for South offensive line. Again, quarterback sneak picks up a couple, two or three yards. Jeffrey's got this offense on the move. That's Mitchell Gorgosh, number 44, making the stop for the long run. So we've got uh, just over four minutes to go in the third. War Eagles are driving. As they're at the Lambert 11, first down and 10. As they can get a first down just inside the one yard line. South comes to the line. Two men split out wide to each side. Actually, they're going to move one man back to the left side, so they'll have the three men bunch to the right, to the left again, rather. Looking to throw back to the single man this side. That is a completed pass to Arnett again, and looks like he is going to be marked just shy of the goal line, but it will be a first down. Right down in the shadow. So they're going to go quickly. They're up to the line quickly. Just waiting on that official. To so it's a first down, first and goal inside the one. All they need to do is break the plane. They just need to move the ball about the length of a football to get it yeah, in the end zone. Absolutely. As soon as they blow it, they're going to try to go and break the plane and get this touchdown. Push forward by Jeffrey. Touchdown, War Eagles. On a one-yard touchdown run by Jansen Jeffrey. Impressive drive there by the War Eagles, and the play that got them down there again was the bunch trips out to the left, throwing it back to that single receiver side where they're giving the cushion over there from the corner. I said they might have found something they like, and I think that's what it is. They're going to take what they're being given over there with that, uh, that, that cushion that the corner's allowing that guy to the single receiver side into the boundary. McKee lines up for the PAT. And the kick is away. Kick is good. So with 317 to go in the third quarter, your score is now Lambert 23, South Forsyth 13. Here on the Listen Your Way Game of the Week. Again, we want to thank our sponsors, Andine Chevrolet and your Forsyth County Marathon Stations. So the War Eagles come back and answer. Get back in the ball game. It was a very good answer by this War Eagle offense. And, uh, you know, it all started with that third and short by the War Eagle defense. The stop they got on third down with the big hit on Little trying on the speed sweep. That set up the Lambert punt, which set up the uh, War Eagle offense in good field position, which allowed them to drive down the field and score. And now it's only a 10 point ball game. It's a two possession game. And you got to think back to the going for two points by Maxwell earlier. Had he kicked it, you, right. then it's, you know, you got to have two touchdowns. Mm -hmm. yep. But now a field goal, and we've seen the uh, South kicker, kicker. Yeah. he's a good one. Mm -hmm. Could be a difference in this ball game as, we, as it plays out. So we have Miller and Register back deep for the Longhorns. McKee will kick it away for the War Eagles. Of course, the way this game is going, I don't think we have to worry too much about the return men because the ball is going to be in the end zone. As they're waiting McKee to get lined up here. And the kick is away. Kick is once again into the end zone for the touchback. Shot. Yep. From their own 20 yard so 3.17 to go third quarter. Longhorns will take over first and 10 from their 20 yard line. Hey, we've got a good ball game right here. And this yeah. is, I think, the third installment in this, in this rivalry right here. And if I'm not mistaken, Lambert took the first two. Yep. So South not willing to give up this third one just yet. So Lambert will have it first and 10 from their 20. Maxwell under center, man goes in motion. Give is to Myers. Well, right up the middle, it gains about three yards. Looks like maybe a trap play the way he bent it back right there and tried to get a find the open hole, got a few yards. It's going to be second down and about seven to go. Made the stop for South. Maxwell again will be under center. 
fakes the give to Myers. Under pressure, trying to get around the left side. He does for a moment, but gets hit immediately and knocked out of bounds. He might have got a yard, maybe two, and that's about it. Yeah, he didn't fool the south defense at all there on the boot. And excellent pursuit by this War Eagle defense. The safety coming, knocking the uh, quarterback out of bounds. Big hit right there. Yeah, that was number eight, Miranowski, on the hit. And I'm telling you now, this defense is flying around. The momentum is beginning to switch to the south for south War Eagle side. If they can get this stop right here on third down, this is going to be interesting. So it's going to be third and about six to go. So it's kind of a third and medium long here. Maxwell is in the shotgun. Snap, rolls to his right, looking to throw. He's got a man there, and the pass is caught. That is number six. That is T.J. Russell with the catch and the first down for the Longhorns. Well, this time he's able to take the snap, get himself enough time, and he had a man wide open over there in the flats. And great catch. The ball was out a little bit in front of him, but nice execution by the Longhorn offense. And just when you think momentum might shift, the Longhorns get a huge first down. So first and ten, and a fumble on the play. Trying to give, I don't know if he was trying to give to Myers or pull it back on the keeper, but uh, fumble on the exchange. And looks like Maxwell fell back on top of it. He's going to lose about a yard. Well, to do a good job of a fake, sometimes you're actually going to put it in his belly to the last minute, then try to pull that thing. And if he tries to hold on to it, sometimes there can be some confusion and the ball ends up on the ground. Luckily, if you're a Lambert Longhorn fan, they're able to get it back. So it's going to be second and 10. They recovered right at the original line of scrimmage. Second down, 10 to go. Snap, drops back, looking to pass. Pass complete. Breaks a tackle, picks up the first down, out of bounds. That is Russell again on the catch for another Longhorn first down. Yeah, nice little throw and catch, and then he just gets it. He's one-on-one, -on -one, makes a move, and is able to get through the tackle and get some extra yardage. And now the Longhorns are on the move. So we've got a minute and a half to go in the third. And the Longhorns picking up some first downs here. No backs. Maxwell in the shotgun. Man comes in motion. He's going to give fake to the motion man, keep it himself. Picks up about two, maybe three yards. Gain of about three. Takes it inside War Eagle inside territory, territory to the 49. It's going to be second down at about seven. And this grinded out style by the War, I mean, excuse me, by the Longhorns is just once they get a lead on you, they're able to go to just what they do best, which is just line up, play smash mouth, grind it out on you, and the clock is in their favor right now. Although there's a quarter left to play. They show no signs of slowing down offensively. As long as they keep moving it and South can't get the ball. So same formation, fakes the give. He's going to throw, and he's got a man there, and it is caught. Pass complete to number nine, Chandler Register, inside the War Eagle 20-yard line, into the red zone, first down, Longhorns. There was some coverage there. He just went up and got it. That was a great catch. It sure was. Register goes up, I believe, is into double coverage. There were two men there. Well, and then just when you praise yeah. them for being smash mouth, they line up and throw the ball downfield, and the receiver makes a heck of a play. So, very versatile offense and uh, showing a little bit of everything here tonight. They got a man uncovered down here at the down here close to our sideline, and nobody sees him. He was wide open. Yep. They still haven't covered him. Nobody saw him, including Maxwell. They sure didn't. And if Maxwell had looked up a little sooner, that was a touchdown for the Longhorns. Yep. Definitely a busted coverage right there by the South for South War Eagles. And I'm shocked that nobody saw him. No coach, no other player. Well, he no was giving anything. him the signal. He's, he's, he's tapping his helmet, tapping his helmet. I got to think that's an automatic. He throw started it waving me. at him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it was pretty obvious. But uh, And I think even Maxwell, once he started running, looked up and saw him, but yep. he had already crossed the line yep. of scrimmage. So he had to take what he get. He did pick up five yards on the play. So it'll be second down and five, but that is the end of the third quarter. And your score at the end of three quarters, Lambert 23, South for side 13, here on the Listen Your Way Game of the Week. And thank our sponsors, Andine Chevrolet, 
and your Forsyth County Marathon stations. So the War Eagle defense needs to stand up here again. I'll tell you, I've been impressed with both of these squads here tonight. They've been playing hard. Neither one of them has, uh, you know, made a lot of mistakes. There haven't been a lot of penalties. They have put the ball on the ground and turned it over a couple of times, a few times. But like I said, a busted coverage right there. But for the most part, a pretty clean game, hard fought. And uh, there's a lot of wins, I think, in the future of both of these programs as they move through the region. And, again, it just adds to the fact that this is a tough region. It's a it good is. competitive region. And um, I'm, I'm going to have fun watching the games as, that, as the season unfolds. So as we get ready to crank it up for the fourth quarter. Heard anything from any of the other games lately? Have I heard? I did hear that uh, North had fumbled a punt and that uh, Chattahoochee had the ball in good field position. So we're getting ready here. Lambert will have the ball second down and about five yards here inside the South for South red zone there at the 19. Looking to throw is Maxwell, and he's going to keep it himself inside the 10-yard line, and he's diving for the pylon. We'll see. Touchdown, Longhorns. And that was just effort. Great effort there by Maxwell. He gets out in space. I talked about earlier. He's hard to tackle, and then those last five yards was nothing but effort, determination. He was going to get across that pylon, and he did, says the official. Nice dive, caught the pile on there to pick up the touchdown. And we will await the PAT. Eustace to snap, register to hold. Parjala's kick is up. Kick is away, and the kick is no good. It's gonna be wide to the right. So with 11.49 to go in the ball game, Lambert now leads 29 to 13 over South Forsyth here at Lambert High School on the Listen Your Way game of the week. Well, that's so a nice, nice drive by Lambert. Nice drive right there. You know, the big play was the pass that was caught right here in the third, late in the third quarter right there, and then uh, effort by Maxwell to stick it in. And now it's an uphill battle for South. Still two touchdowns, but you got to get the two-point conversions both times, and uh, they're going to have to start thinking along the lines of scoring a little bit quicker with the with the clock the way it is here in the fourth quarter. But they've had the passing game working, so that can tend to lead to scoring a little bit quicker. Yeah, absolutely, and when you got Jansen Jeffrey, when you got a quarterback that's as athletic and can throw the ball downfield like him, then you're never really out of ball games as long as there's time on the clock and you're within a couple of scores. And, and Lambert's going to have the same luxury as the season goes along because the Maxwell kid is the same shape. Great athlete, playing quarterback. 50 50 raffle. That's ticket number 565930. And Lambert will get ready to kick it away here. Had other county scores coming right and left earlier, and now I can't seem to get any <laughs> updates. But uh, everybody's entranced in their ball games. That's right. Not thinking about setting the scores. I'm still checking. So Ryan Carjala will kick it away this time for the Longhorns, and they will set up a short kick this time. Taken by Rice, who's out across the 30, up to about the 33-yard line. Khalil Rice, number one, with a nice return, out across the 30-yard line. I believe that's what they call a kickoff return play. How novel. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that in so long. Still kind of the way the kicking game has been going, you'd think they can just drive it in the end zone, make them take it at the 20, the way we would do it all that. It's pretty automatic, so it that seems they, like. So that they don't get a chance to break one and they get right back at the ball game. If, he, really. if he breaks that out goes for the touchdown, you're back to a one-score game. So Jeffrey, again, under center, rolls to his right, looking to throw, throws back to this side. Pass is complete. 
to Isaiah Williams. And he picks up the first down. Nice tackle by the Longhorn defender. Yeah, come out with that bunch trips. Looks, look again. They've been throwing back to the single receiver side. Well, this time he rolls out, looks at the bunch trips, and then throws a little screen back out at the back side. Nice gain there on first down. Danny Edgeworth with the stop for the Longhorns. So first down for the War Eagles. They're at their own 47. Do you think they're going to have to get a little more sense of urgency about them here? Yeah, that's a little long in the huddle. They've been going to the line earlier in the game and, and checking over and getting the play. Snap and looking to throw again. Pass complete again, and he's got running room this time. Makes one man miss. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, War Eagles. Jordan Arnett with another nice touchdown. Right With the touchdown this time and another great catch. Yeah, just a quick slant, and he caught it, and then did the rest, broke a tackle or two with the safety who shouldn't make that play, and he was gone to the house after that, and that's the kind of quick score they needed. They're gonna have to go for two here, I would think, and get them within to a, a one-score game. Got a man down for Lambert here. I believe it was the man that made the cut and that uh, uh, Arnett made and made the man miss. I believe he's the man that is down here. So looks like he may have rolled an ankle or something on that cut. Yeah, he might have. He might have literally here breaking the ankles on the on the cut. He might have literally hurt the young man on on the cut inside. He did make it very quick and bolted to the end zone. So as we'll await the injury here. Your score currently 29-20 as we await what you would assume is going to be a two-point conversion attempt. <laughs> As we await the injury down on the field, as he's being attended to. Big hand for number 23, Danny Edgeworth. It's Edgeworth, the man that made the tackle on the last play before. I did get an update that North Forsyth has fumbled. Chattahoochee scooped it up and scored. And I'm awaiting a, um, an update on that score. That game's kind of getting away a little bit at this point. So we're back to action here, ready to go. Edgeworth off the field. So South will go for two here. Three men in the backfield behind Jeffrey. And pass is going to be intercepted by number 11. That's Tucker Maxwell. So the try is no good. So a 10 58 to go in the ball game. You're scoring now Lambert. 29. South for side. 20. Here on the Listen Your Way game of the week. It was a great pass, great play. The man was open, but he Maxwell open. stepped over in front of it. Even a better play there by Maxwell on defense. Snatched that thing, and if I'm not mistaken, that Tucker Maxwell is a young guy. Yeah, he's we a freshman. That, he's just a freshman. a freshman, and uh, the reason I know that is I do now coach middle school and had to try to defend that young man right. last year in eighth grade ball, which is absolutely ridiculous that he can make a play like that <laughs> on a Friday night, and he's just now in the ninth grade. It's actually 19. They had an extra point up on the board. 29-19. So a 10-point game here. So you need another hold from your defense. Yeah, hey, not asking much. Same thing. Three and out again. Get us back the ball. We found stuff on offense that seems to be working. And just got to be able to stop this Longhorn offense and get your offense, get your South Forsyth's offense possessions. So McKee will kick it away for the War Eagles. Kick is away. 
And it's going to be taken just in, just before the in, in line of the end zone. And that ball will be returned, taken across the 20. That is by number 36, Brandon Miller. So first and 10 now. That's two, Longhorns. two returns in a row. Put a little bit more air under that kick. Try to force a return. Maybe pin them inside the 20. Only cost them a couple yards on the gamble, so not a bad gamble there by South. And again, now they would love for their defense to make quick work of this Lambert offense drive. Keeper by Maxwell picks up about three yards. And more of the same, faking it up the midline there, up the center's back with the with the fullback, keeping it with the quarterback. Number 38. Able to Daniel scoot ahead Dixon for about three. For Maxwell's checking for the for the play, getting the play call in. Taking his time, of course, as the clock continues to wind down. Gives around this side to Vasquez. Jake He's going to get up to right about the 30. He's going to gain about three, maybe four yards. It's going to be third down and about three to go. Score update for West Forsyth. Uh, West Forsyth 49, Alpharetta 35 in the third quarter. What was that again? West Forsyth 49, Alpharetta 35 in the third. This is going to be a shootout to the end. So we run a man in motion, then stop and check the sideline for the play here. As the clock continues to wind down to nine and a half minutes to go. Third and three. Gives around this side to Vasquez again. And he's going to be very close to the first down. We'll wait to check. Looks like he's going to be across it by about a half a yard. Get those chains moving. First down, Longhorns. Can't allow too many of those. So that'll get the clock moving again. Another score update here from uh, North Forsyth. Chattahoochee 33, North Forsyth 14. Looks like that's going to be the first loss of the season for the Raiders. As they'll try and regroup to come here to Lambert next week. And I'll tell you, I don't envy anybody who's got to play either one of these teams. No. Give up the middle. To Myers this time, picks up about two yards. Myers on the carry, takes it out close to the 35. And it looks like we've got an injured South for South player now. It's like number 79. That is Zach number Martin. Daniel Dixon on the stop. I'm going to tell you, it looked like Myers was going to have more there, but South closed quickly, and I've been impressed with their effort on defense. They've had a couple That's of opportunities to hang Zach their head Martin. and kind of cash it in after Lambert scores, and they've continued to play hard. and. That's a tribute not only to those players, but to those coaches as well. Right. As we wait for the injured player here, let's start checking on him. Good to see him walking off. Looks like under his own power right there. And 
Maybe just shaking up a little bit on the play. Tickets for the Stampede's 50-50 raffle. The winning ticket will be 565-930. So it's going to be second and eight right here for the Longhorn offense. Back to the action on the field is second and eight for the Longhorns. They're on 35. Second and eight. Gives up the middle to Myers. He's got the first down across the 45-yard line to about the 47. First down, Longhorns. And that's a play similar to what we saw early in the game. Myers broke and took it to the house. This time South able to wrestle him down after a big 10, 11-yard gain there, but enough for the first down. And Lambert keeps moving the chains, and the clock's going to keep moving. It may be a little bit of deflation of the emotion of the uh, South Forsyth War Eagle defense right now. A lot of looking around. So give is to what's up, Myers again. No, actually Vasquez this time. Picks up another first down. Down to the 41-yard line, and that's going to be good enough for another. Longhorn first down. Nice blitz there by the War Eagle defense. Came through and very aggressive, but Lambert under to, I mean able to run up underneath that thing and get good yardage again. The offense is is clicking. Of 7.40 to go in the ball game. Gives to Myers this time, makes one man miss. He's going to pick up another first down inside the 30 yard line down to the 29. Daniel Myers on the carry, squirts through the middle. Myers, of the Myers, and Myers again. Myers, Myers, and why not? Because it's working and it's eating clock. And like I said, I think right now is the first time I've seen since this game began the uh, War Eagle defense look a little deflated emotionally right here. And, uh, not to say they're still playing, they're not playing hard. They are playing hard, but they're beginning to see that time is ticking down and they're down 10 points. So again, first and 10, just inside the War Eagle 30 yard line. Man in motion, gives to the motion man, that's Vasquez. Makes one man miss, breaks another tackle. Gets inside the 25 down to about the 23 yard line. Actually, they're gonna mark him at the 22. So it's gonna be about an eight yard gain. It'll be second down and two to go. Well, it looks like another score update. Chattahoochee has returned their second punt return for a touchdown of the night, 40 to 14. There at North. I believe that one is pretty much over. And then you got the shootout down at Alpharetta with West. Heard anything from Central again? Oh, they were not got a uh, Central score lately. So second down and two to go. Give is to Myers, has the first down inside the 15, battling, dragging men down to about the 10 yard line. Pushing the First down, down Longhorns. To the and I tell you, after that, this big offensive line firing out and laying on you all night, and I think it's beginning to show. Not only Myers running hard, but the way these whole Longhorn running backs run with the ball, and they mix it up well. And right now, I think they're a lot fresher than this War Eagle defense, and it's showing. All right. So it's going to be first down, 10 to go from the 11, so they can get a first down just inside the 1. Just under six minutes to go in the ball game. <clears throat> Snap gives to Myers. This time he's going to be knocked back. He's going to lose about a yard, looks like. We'll wait and see where they mark it, but it'll be second and long here. Number 38, Daniel Dixon, with help from number three, Tyler LaClaim. So he loses about a yard. It's going to be second and, and 11 here. Mike Scullin all made that stop for the Warriors. 
As Maxwell checks the sideline for the play. Loss on the play is going to bring up second. Change a couple of personnel out. As they try and eat as much clock as they can here, so we tick down to five minutes to go. And we got a timeout, Lambert. Timeout, Longhorns. So with 4:58 to go, we got a quick timeout here. Lambert takes their second of the half. They have one left. Well, really, since that first, that opening big touchdown run by Myers, Lambert has been in control of the game pretty yeah. much all night. And when they when their offense has needed to score, they've been able to put a drive together and do just that and score. When they've needed to eat clock, they've been able to do that. But I will also say credit that South Forsyth team. They have battled. They yeah, never they laid, laid down. down. No, That's huh? right. They always, when they uh, got down and they could have had the opportunity to cash it in, like I said earlier, they've responded. It's just a too little, too late, and I think uh, a little bit too powerful of a Lambert Longhorn right. team tonight. Like I said, their defense has played pretty well for the most part. They've given up a couple of big plays and a couple of long drives, but they've still played solid. They had a couple of good stops when they needed it. It's just the offense hasn't been able to muster enough offense to stay with this Lambert team. Yeah, absolutely, and if you're south, yeah, crushing loss right here is what if things stay the way they are. And uh, but but plenty to build off of. I mean, this is a great Lambert team that you're playing, and. Uh, You've got a chance to challenge for one of the top four spots in this region and get in postseason play. And it's going to be somebody with a couple of losses that's going to get her three even that is going to wind up with those later spots in that's the four. Right. Rolling out to the right this time is Maxwell. Makes one man miss, makes another man miss. And he's going to wind up picking up a couple of yards and takes a big hit at the end of the play. So it gains about three yards. It's going to be third down and about eight to go here. Well, that's the thing about that great effort. You love it, but as you keep trying to break tackles, there are more defenders coming, and the last one to finish him off there gave him a good pop. Right. But, again, in this region, as we were saying, it's going to be a battle all year. So a team with a couple or three losses is going to wind up with that three and four seed. So you can't give up. you got to keep battling and trying that's, to come back and get the win. That's right. And even though this is a, a rivalry and a game, I know these kids have their hearts set on winning. You cannot let down. you got to come to practice next week with the goal in mind of we can still get to the playoffs, like you're saying, and we can still win the region as far yep. as that goes. Yep. So it's third down and long, third and about nine yards. Just under four minutes to go. And we've got a flag on the play. It's going to be delay against the Longhorns. Flag down. Delay again so, could be called against the Longhorns. Not that they really mind that penalty necessarily at this point. The, taking the time off is the most important thing for Ab them here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the, the time is so precious right now. 3.54 left in this fourth quarter. Two possession lead. And what's worse than all that is they're down inside the South for South 15 yard line, threatening to put more on the board. Right. So if nothing else, they can run a play here, kick a field goal, make it a two touchdown game. Then. Absolutely. And uh, so a third down and let's see, 14 here. Gives up the middle to Myers. He's going to pick up a few, get it down to back, down to about the original line of scrimmage, about the 11-yard line, and it'll be about fourth and ten here, and that'll bring the kicking unit on. Yeah, a little trap. Myers up the middle, trying to bend it back, get closer to the middle of the field to set up his field goal kicker. So Carjala, the kicker, is going to set up for about a 23-yard field goal try. Don't wait the snap. Kick is up. Kick is away, and the kick is good. So 3:14 to go in the ball game. You're scoring now, Lambert 32, South Forsyth 19. Here on the Listen Your Way game of the week. Again, we want to thank Andine Chevrolet and your Forsyth County Marathon stations for their sponsorship. South Forsyth 19. So with just over three minutes to go. 
It's getting down to the nitty gritty here. South's kind of getting out of reach at this point. They're going to have to start throwing a lot of balls downfield. Yeah, now's where you're totally out of your game plan, and you just got to look at the situation and 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 uh, call plays accordingly. Should see a lot of stuff down the field, maybe even to the sideline. They do have their three timeouts they can use, so they may be towards the middle of the field. You can burn those timeouts, but definitely something down the field and then quickly getting back to the line of scrimmage. Yep. Got to have a quick score here. Yes, absolutely. So you'd like to get down and score in, in a minute or less here, if, you, if at all possible, so that you can get the ball back. Get a defensive stop and still have time left to try and get another touchdown. Yeah, and then the way this the way this Longhorn offense has has been running, I'm not so sure if you don't score quickly, go ahead and try your onside kick. All right. Yeah. Fifty to nothing. Wow. Perry Persons. Still waiting here. Getting that Mary Persons and Perry score announced. I'm sure everybody here was dying <laughs> yeah. to hear how most Mary Persons was doing against Perry. When most of the people here have no clue where either <laughs> one of those schools are at. Milton leads Roswell 38 to 28. That's in the third quarter. 38 28 Milton over Roswell. Roswell having to come back a little bit. They they went winless last year. Winless last year. I understand they got a good running back this year. I know they came over and played Lambert a pretty competitive game over here. Was Lambert was able to come out on top, but yeah, making strides. You don't see a Roswell program stay down like that for no. long. So still waiting here. I don't know. I got. Uh, one of the coaches on the south sideline talking with the white hat or the head official over there. I don't know exactly what the conversation is about here. You can look the stand starting to empty a little yeah. bit. You have to at this place. Uh, parking is a little bit of an issue here at Lambert. Yeah, well, so I'm encouraged by people leaving. I'm hoping that might get me home before midnight. <laughs> We're still waiting. The uh, South for South coach still talking to the head official over there. The adjust area. So now the head official coming over to the Lambert sideline. Well, West, as we know him here, West for side leads Alpharetta. 56 to 42 in the fourth quarter. A score update just announced here at Lambert. West Forsyth 56, Alpharetta 42, fourth quarter. Is there any defense at all being played? <laughs> <laughs> Do they even have a defensive team on I'm the field? <laughs> Big difference from the uh, Boise State BYU game that was on Thursday night, I think. I didn't, didn't catch any of that. Ugh. It's great defensive ball game. The scoreboard is fixed to 326. It is a scoreboard malfunction that shows the eight. The official time is 326. So apparently it was a scoreboard issue that we were dealing with. So we're all all square now. We're ready to go. Maxwell will kick it away. He thinks it's going in the end zone. I don't see why not. What do you know? How was that? Yeah, almost Touchback. Out the back of it, yep. That kick sails about eight yards deep in the end zone and will be brought So the, the War Eagles will take over at their 20, first and 10. 326 to go. So we need a some quick strikes here for the War Eagles. Quick strikes. We'll see what they come out with. See if they give that bunch trips look again. Jansen Not Jeffrey this time. Leads the War Eagles to the line of scrimmage. So under center. Snap. Looks to throw. Pass is incomplete. Intended for Arnett. Come back to Arnett on the quick slant. He took that to the house earlier, but not this time. He was that hard on that play. Yeah, he was. Bring up second and ten. So second down, ten to go. Three twenty-two to go. They continue to file out. Lines of people.
what once was a stands completely covered in blue across from us now you can start to see the the silver again yep of the bleachers ready to go here second and ten rolling to the right into pressure and he's going to be sacked inside the ten that is number do a little turn around there number 48 Dylan Alexander on the sack. Nice he roll, rolled right into the pressure there. Yeah, nice outside rush too by, there by Alexander. He picked the shoulder, rushed that edge. Looked like he dipped his shoulder there at the end. Finished it off. So third and 25 to go here. As the War Eagles have five wides. Snap. Drops back. Looking, looking. Pass is tipped and incomplete. Tipped away by number 31, Vito Tang. Pass broken up by number Intended for Sam Walker. Going to bring up fourth So fourth and 25 here. Nice play on the ball there by Tang. Knocking it up. And to the ground incomplete and if we see a punt here which we should maybe they'll just keep them in and go for it right here either way I think when the Lang Longhorn uh, offense gets it back we're gonna see this clock run out yep they're gonna go they're gonna go here fourth and 25 from their own five snap drops back looking looking and pass is caught. That is caught by number nine, Sam Walker, but he's well short of the first down. And the War Eagles will turn it over on downs. Well, he gave it a great effort and, and uh, just not quite enough. And um, that should do it. Yep, about five yards short. So they turn it over on down. So it'll be first and 10 for the Longhorns from the War Eagle 25. Well, I know, Keith, that we come back here next week. North Forsyth will be coming off of a loss, coming over here to face this tough long, uh, Longhorn team. Not sure. I know Forsyth Central has a bye next week. I'm not sure about this War Eagle team, where they go. I'm not either. I forgot to check the schedule before, before the ball game. So first and 10. Number 12, Hayden McLeod in at quarterback. McLeod into the game at quarterback for the Longhorns. And they run it straight ahead. That was number one. Reed Gill on the, on the carry. carry. Picks up about three yards. It'll be second and seven as the clock winds down under two minutes. Gain of three is going to bring up second and second. Excuse me. Second and seven as the clock ticks under two minutes. So another very short game. The ball number 39 is tripped up in the backfield. So actually he's going to lose just a little bit. He's tripped up in the backfield. South calls time. Number 79 gets credit for that tackle. Good to see him back out on the field. So he lost about two yards. It's going to bring up third and nine here after the timeout 129 to go and very you can see coach Arnett he's very emotional and is talking to the kids right now and you got to think it's something about just don't quit hey the game's still got a minute and a half to go let's uh let's keep playing hard till the very end and finish the way we started this thing because his kids have played hard
So we're ready to go here. It's going to be third and ten. Snap. Give is to Reed Gill. Gains maybe a yard, and that's about it. Reed Gill on the carry. So fourth down. Leases out a couple of tough yards up the middle. And South I believe timeout. South calls time. Number 90, Andy Godswill will get credit for that tackle for South. So we're out of the timeout here. Both teams coming back on the field. Fourth and ten is the situation for the Longhorns. So fourth down and ten. Snap and taken by number 39. That is Devon Jones picks up about a yard, and Lambert will turn it over on downs. Jones on the carry for the Longhorns. Well, short of a first down, and a turn around the sticks. We give the War Eagles first and ten from their own 23 yards. Number 34. So we got about a minute 20 to go here. Minute 20 and South will run that first O back on the field, it looks like. Yep. <coughs> so Jeffrey drops back. Pass complete to Arnett. Knocked out of bounds at about the 27, 28 yard Arnett line. Makes the catch on the sideline. Steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Hmm. Tucker Maxwell, number 11, was there to make sure he did step out of bounds. So 118 to go. 18 seconds left. That will bring up second and a long five. For the I'm looking to throw again. Passes wide and behind. Oh, and there's the flag. Yep, it's going to be a personal foul penalty there against uh, Sam Walker. Yeah, a little bit of a late kick there. And that, uh, you know, 74 seconds left in the game. The build up all week, and then you get here, and things don't go exactly how you want it. But that's the last thing you want to see if you're if, if you're a coach. Yeah. Dead ball foul, personal foul against the War Eagles. Gonna push it back 15 yards. Some of those younger kids getting to play now on defense for yep. the Longhorns, and they're playing hard and uh, enjoying making the most of their reps. They're getting on a Friday night, and then sometimes that's a little too much for the other guys to handle, unless you get a kick and a personal foul. Ball's placed down on the 12 and a half yard line. They bring up second and long for the Warriors. So it's going to be second down and about 20 yards to go here. Update West Forsyth 63, Lambert, I mean, excuse me, Alpharetta 42, 7 minutes 40 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. So West starting to stretch it out now. Jeffries rolls to his right, looking to throw, and it's again behind the receiver, intended for. Walker again. Pass intended again for number nine, Sam Walker. Pressure was so third down. By Dylan Alexander. Thinking about 20. 
As we slow to a crawl here. Yeah, I'm telling you, uh, things were looking like this game was going to end fairly quickly. These last two minutes have taken ended up taking 30 minutes. Right. So third and 20, 108 to go. Again, give it a shot on fourth and long. Well, it's actually fourth down rather, fourth and 20. Snap. Drops back, looking, looking, and he's intended for Arnett, and it's incomplete. On the coverage, the, ball, the pass ball is incomplete. And South will turn it over on downs. Down. 102 to go. Now we got a flag in the backfield, actually. Roughing the passer is the call. We're roughing the passer, so that's going to be an automatic first. Yes, it will. So we're going to get more of this. South for South offense. So they will step off this penalty momentarily. Personal foul. It's going to be a 15 yarder and an automatic first. Against the long horse. 15 yards will be marked off. So it'll be marked at the 27 yard line and first down for the War Eagles. If you'll enjoy, indulge me once for old time's sake, that penalty is good enough for a War Eagle first down. So he rolls to the right, looking to throw, looking, and it's going to be intercepted. Pass intercepted by number six, that's T.J. Russell. And South will turn it over here on the turnover, and a couple of kneel downs and we should be over here. Yeah, that should, that should do it. I said that earlier, but that should really be it. Get these young guys maybe a few reps or have them come in and take the knee. Well, like so with 51 seconds, you figure it's gonna be, be the old victory formation. We will find out momentarily, and that looks like we're gonna be in that particular formation. Got a safety man deep here. Sure does. And the kneel down. That's Hayden McLeod, number 12, taking the knee. And that's going to, I don't know if they will have to kneel it again or not. We'll see momentarily. Looks like we will have to kneel it one more time here. And it looks like the third game in this rivalry will also to go Lambert. to the Longhorns. Yep. So that's going to be your final score, folks, here from Lambert. Final score, Lambert Longhorns, 32. South for South War Eagles, 19. Thank you for listening to us here on the Listen Your Way Game of the Week. We want to thank our sponsors one more time before we go. Andean Chevrolet and your Forsyth County Marathon stations. That's going to wrap us up this week here from Lambert. Be sure and join us back here at Lambert again next week as the North Forsyth Raiders will come to town to take on the Longhorns. So for our producer, Travis Chafin, for our camera operator, Elizabeth Shoemake, and for my color commentator, Chuck Shadburn, this is Keith Shoemake. Signing off, we'll see you next week here at Lambert. So long, everybody.